catch. All right, first thing, and I just, uh, of all the lifters so far, uh, you guys have all done an excellent job of this. Uh, you stabilize your spines before you make the lift, and you have a really good, clean start. So you can see he's like got a rounded back right beforehand, and then he pulls tension, and he has a really good understanding of how to protect that spine, which is super important. Um, so props Chris Dodds for that. Um, this is going to have some similar things to Marley's lift earlier. So he starts a little bit too forward, um, and that's going to come into play as he pulls the bar up. So slow motion i'm in the navy okay here we go <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh you can see that he's too far forward go back like a frame if you can yeah he's just a little bit too far forward we want to be able to be able to sweep the bar back towards the heel um or the weight towards the heel as we get to the knee and his knees are not yet out of the way. And so here I would like to have those knees push back just a little bit sooner. Um, we're splitting hairs this is a pretty good lift. So he comes through now his knee sway back, but you'll notice that the bar doesn't sweep back until there. So the bar should be consistently sweeping back through the whole motion. He doesn't start sweeping it until he gets to the knee. That's a solid. That's a drive. solid second pull, though. What a hoss! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. He's going. He's diving under. And this is probably the best part of this lift. He catches just excellently. Um, yeah. Now here, pause. The thing I like about this is the bar is centered over the midfoot, but you can see that like it traveled from the second pull. It had to travel a little bit further. Um, back to get to a good position. Uh, if you would have started with that weight in his foot a little bit just behind the ball of the foot instead of in the ball of the foot or towards the toes, the bar wouldn't have had to have gone that far back or he wouldn't have had to bring it that far back to catch it in this good position. Um, and so he, he did a really, really good job of, I want to say saving the lift, but finishing the lift uh, despite the start position being like less than ideal. Does Scott have those same lifters? I feel like that. I'm are happy. those Scots? They might be. Did he buy them from him? Actually, we don't we don't say that name here anymore. He is dead to us. Scott moved to Colorado. Bigger and better things, apparently. Getting married, buying a house. What a jerk. Boom. Oh, look at him. Looking off. Looking that for that. You saw that? <laughs> now, I will say it's interesting. Uh, the arms are not crossed. Uh in the oh, right yeah. side so i think that is it is a mansplanation thing it's only when there's a female lifting we have to have our arms crossed i, I bet that's hi hands on hips though a little more open position though for <laughs> understanding oh <laughs> look he's like all right that's pretty impressive now okay this is just another safety note it is a light weight i believe it's oh, 85 yeah, we'll pounds this, right um, but it's always important to remember you, we usually get hurt in moments like this where now the back has rounded um, and then he sets the bar out away from him. That bar is going to get a lot heavier the further out it goes, and that's going to expose those discs. Um, and so it's it's easy when we have a light weight to just not worry about it. But since we do so many reps like this, it's important to make it a habit to put the bar down the way that you got it back up, right? Keep your back tight um, and control it. Uh, and that's going to pay off because it's, it's those weird moments where it's like, oh, it's only the barbell. It's only 75 pounds, whatever. But – that's a pretty that that's very far away and you can see the back is rounded and it's just um puts you guys at a little bit more risk so i would be a little bit more careful about how we're working with the barbell boom two more two more let's do we chris, squatting let's do chris dodds back to back this should be a pretty quick one mostly this one's this one's here for some cute factor too not just because chris is in it but there's but. a dog i'm gonna talk through this one just because i already saw it um one thing you'll notice is that he's kind of robotic in his hips coming back so boom his hips go back um and it's almost like a two-part lift now our hips should go back um and bend with the knees but on that very first one he just sets the hips back uh, very robotically and then oh yeah, yeah yeah and zoom in and then we're back um Whose house is this? I like this 4x4 four four post. Oh, I think that's the rigs. Yeah, it's the rigs, I think. The rigs, uh, you guys are so cool. They are pretty cool. So, and I think that's something that he's like purposefully working on, but if it was just like a squat for, you know, points, um, we want to make it a really fluid movement. Yeah, the hips go back, um, but we don't want to make it like a two-part thing. So, um, solid lift. He gets good depth. He does keep really good tension and control over the, the hips and the knees. You want to see it um, again? But, yeah, sure. 
Boom. But Dodds is also like a day one day one convert. He came in day one, no CrossFit experience, almost exactly what two something years ago. Mm-hmm. Took the the first workout was seven minutes of ascending ladder, <laughs> burpees of, and air squats. Yeah, one burpee, one air squat, two burpees, two <laughs> air squats. And I, he remembers his score. We were talking about this not that long ago. He yeah. remembers. We we should we need to have him redo it. We should. <laughs> we should. That'd be funny. That's but he is absolutely that's such, crushing. That's it. such a hard workout. He lost a bunch of weight. Got Crystal in here. It's been awesome. Okay. Boom. Last one. All right. We back to Tara. Uh, we also have this is another clean clean and jerk video. So uh, some similar things going on. In, oh, uh, we're not gonna watch it. We're not, it's done. Sorry, Who Tara. has any idea where it went? Oh, I minimized it. It's back. <laughs> okay, we're back. All right, we're back. <laughs> we try to find a way that it fits on the screen. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Same forward position. Uh, let's, let's, let, me, let me play through it okay. real quick. Right, we'll, let her, we'll let a couple lifts happen. That is a heavy lift for her. Crushed it. Such a Ooh, good fighting those knees out. complex. Such a good complex. Um, oh, this is perfect. We get we get to yeah, talk about three reiterate. different things here. Yep. All right, Alec. <laughs> Forget that part. <laughs> Level one extraordinaire. What you seeing? Okay. Tara always has. Um, kind of a wide setup. I don't know if this is something that matters. Mm-hmm. Um, but it doesn't really... I think the problem is, is it pushes in your elbows. It makes your hands be a little wider. But she's mm-hmm. also not very tall, so I don't know how much that... So, really one, matters. I do like the pushing into the elbows because you can create more tension that way. But... Well, no, I get what you're saying, but like I think that when you're normal with, that makes sense. But I think yep. it causes a little bit of... Yeah, it pushes your elbows out this way, as in a uh, angular. Yeah, and that's something she's been working on. Uh, she does tend to start wide and then catch wide. Uh, so something for her, if she brought her, she if she literally kept her toes where they are and brought her heels in a little bit, um, that way her knees could turn out. That's what I'm saying. And, those, she and she's also out. pretty equal footed here, yeah. and, her, and her hips that's are a good little eye. high. That's a good eye. That's okay. This. I noticed I noticed this in the video too. This is a long time to try to like either she's not keeping we can't really see it in the video because mm-hmm. it's slow mo. Either she's not keeping tension here. Mm-hmm. This is a long time to try to hold tension into a bar. So she's probably not doing it, which True means story. it's gonna happen at the very end. True story. Because she takes a breath. You see a breath. Oh, she's like she's like, Oh no, this is gonna be heavy. <laughs> which is what m- m- mental preparation is huge too. The bar seems a little bit far away from the shins too. There you go. Good eye. Good eye. Yeah. It starts a little bit farther away, and you can see that that weight's forward, a little bit too forward. So now it's got to sweep way back. She does a good job of bringing it back. Yeah. Gets her knees out of the way. Great position, too. She comes off of the mid thigh. I would like it to come back just a little bit more. Well, I think the hips can come forward a little faster for a little but Uh huh. Uh huh. And then we get the same thing. But this is this. So this is where the problem comes with the super wide setup is mm-hmm. this this is way outside her normal squat mm-hmm. stance which is it's hard to squat that wide mm-hmm. she's gonna crush it though but prove me absolutely wrong i think this is like 325 on this bar too just don't look basically all right so uh just to finish out the clean conversation you want to go back to the triple extension or lack thereof do, 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 do. So the bar comes out a little bit. Uh, she's got to sweep it back. So okay. she she doesn't get all the way to her hip extension, right? Her she doesn't get straight. Right there, we're reading. Yeah. It. Um, so one thing, and this probably actually has a lot to do with the the setup time. She takes a long time to set up, and I think she was holding tension the whole time, which is just exhausting. Right. Um, so she, and then that also gives her time to think too much. Um, so for something for her is I would I would decide that she's going to lift the bar before she gets to her setup. You make the decision, then you grab onto the bar and then you go. Um, so one, I would have her watch videos of Ilya Elin, uh, one of the greatest clean and jerkers of all time. And that dude will walk up on stage. And the second he bends over to grab that bar, it is on his shoulders. No setup time whatsoever. He just grips it, rips it and crushes records fueled heavily by Russian steroids. So that's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Putin. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, Are we so, allowed to say his name on YouTube? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll probably get Thanks, Russian de- leader. demonetized. Um, so, 
Uh, anyhow, so I would, I would like her to just kind of make that decision before she goes down. And then also that that's going to give her a little bit more energy to finish that lift instead of just trying to get it over with. Um, so then the, the feet do come wide. And so you can see that like, that's the dead end of her, her squat because her feet are so wide and you can see that right knee kind of wants to come in. If she was just a little bit more narrow, um, she would have a little bit time, but easier time getting lower. Now you're going to see almost the exact same faults in this split jerk. Um, I think there's a front squat. So first. yeah, she's front squats it. So this is actually a great example. This is exactly what her her this is exactly what her squat position is here. Exactly. Yeah, and this is solid. Um, fighting those elbows um, up. She's fighting to keep those knees out. They come in a little bit, but she's working on it. Now the the dip and drive is going to be a little bit low, and then that back foot's going to catch. And the knees collapse. A little and the bit. knees tend the to right, come right. I can't yeah. tell the lap ones collapse. And this this goes into that same thing of uh, letting like compensating. And so if we're we're constantly having that happen and happen and happen, it needs to be like a hyper focused thing, just like with uh, with John and the hips coming forward. So uh, this is a common fault I feel like we see in class a lot. Also, too, is is this idea of um, I think her foot caught a little earlier than she thought, but. Mm -hmm this idea of not pushing yourself under it's that same idea she had more aggression than i was at marley's video yep but that jumping down idea that it's, it's gonna be hard to catch this with those shoulders back like that and right and now she's to rotate that whole body through yeah and so and, and and that's it's the difference between pushing the bar up and pushing yourself underneath the bar same thing like the snatch we're not lifting the bar up we're putting ourselves underneath the bar um and so that gets really hard now you can see the back leg can you go back to where she's split Again, that back leg, that heel is planted. It needs to be up. That knee needs to now be turned in. That's like the one moment we can turn you that. You can almost uh, see it's almost it's almost in. facing us. It's almost yeah, uh, and that's going to make her feel a lot more aggressive in that stance. She does do a good job. She kicks back with the front leg, then the back leg, which I really like. Look at this look. Um, like, I'm bad at the bone. <laughs> yeah, she definitely did a good job uh, hitting that lift. That's a heavy weight for her. So she brings it down with pretty good control. Um, Keeps her back tight as she drops the bar. Excellent. Tara's also a good example. I mean, we looked at her um, pull up earlier. I mean, when she came in for a discovery session, that was that was all brand new kipping and everything. And then I, I, if I remember correctly, this is this was like the first time ever touching a barbell. She came in and she was like, "I've never done anything like this," mm -hmm. and she's been nothing but trying to learn every step of the way. Yep, yep. It's like she's a teacher that is good at learning things. Yeah, mind blowing. All right, cool. So those are some videos that we got. Uh, if you guys want to send some in for the next one, we'll break them down. Um, and we'll go from there. I like it.